Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at a traffic stop where a sovereign citizen or Sovtard or whatever you want to call him is trying to use all his tricks to get out of a traffic ticket. Now, will it work? Will he or will he end up with a broken window, taser, or whatever? Will he fold? I don't know. Let's go ahead and find out what will happen with this particular Sovtard. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> he came up. He talked to me for a little bit. Asked me if this was a, a race event. I said, nah. Thought I'm up for Fort Wayne. I'm on my private conveyance. Just because you're in your private conveyance doesn't mean you have to speed like a maniac to get home. You gotta take your time just like everybody else. Otherwise, you will end up in an accident. And I don't know if you have the insurance to cover everybody's expenses for that. But let's see if you do or not. So let's carry on. Coming from Kokomo back to Fort Wayne. He asked me for my license and registration. I told him that <clears throat> I was a private man on my private conveyance and that I had identification to show him that I'm a private man on my private conveyance. Now, if he was to read my place, which I'm pretty sure he is, then he will find that this car is inside of my trust, my u box Unincorporated Business Organization Trust. Now, is this the same trust that you softards tend to believe that we are all born with, that we can somehow gain access to in, with some magical incantations or whatever? I mean, you do know that is total bullshit, right? That that uh, trust doesn't exist, and we still have to pay our debts whenever we incur them, right? We can't rely on the fallacy that... Uh, there is a magical trust out there that I'll cover our ass. And not inside the state's trust. So we will see. I'm going to go ahead and... You don't have a driver's license to drive the vehicle. I, I can't find. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't. I don't drive. I travel. I'm not driving. What sir. are you doing? What do you, you? You don't drive. What do you mean you're driving? I'm. I'm, I'm traveling. I'm traveling. Yes, sir. Well, you have to have an Indiana driver's license to travel. You only no, no, look. I'm not going to argue with you. Hey, yo, Sovtard, you do realize that you need a valid driver's license in any state, including the state of Indiana. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Did that officer just say he wasn't going to tolerate uh, the arguments coming from this guy? So let's go and continue on and see what happens, okay? Because this should be fun. I'm going to cite you for never receiving a driver's license. I'm going to tell you here. Well, this vehicle belongs to the trust, my trust. Well, that may be your trust, but I'm going to tow the vehicle because you don't have a driver's <laughs> license to drive. Now, once again, do you, are you, uh, your team, do you have a sergeant or a lieutenant? Now I got a captain here, and I can got I a talk to the patrolman too. Can I talk to the captain? I mean, assistant, assistant chief here. Can I talk to the? Oh, he'll tell you the same thing I'm telling you. Can I talk to the captain? You want to talk to him? Yes, sir. Oh, good. The supervisor is already there. This should make things a whole lot faster. Uh, just too bad it won't work out for you in the end, dude, because I'm sure he'll say the same thing as his subordinate did. I mean, good freaking grief. When has the calling the supervisor ever helped you guys? Which one is he? One coming up beside me here. All right. Hey, how you doing, Captain? Good. Um, I explained to uh, the chief here that I was traveling on my private conveyance. Now, I showed him my identification and my status right there, that car right there. And I told him that this car is, um, is it belongs to a trust. And uh -huh. it cannot be told. It should not be told, but. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. If he or you guys, you know, want to do business with me you know 
I, I, I don't consent to doing business. And Dude, you are made of stupid. Uh, there is no business transaction going on right here. It is a traffic stop, which is of the law, not of business. So keep doing your stupid, and let's carry on. And I don't consent to being told. And if there is a toll, then there could be, you know, civil. That's that, that, that's that's the right to do that, but it's going to be towed. Okay, but okay. what I'm what I'm, and, what I'm saying is, you get a citation for not a, not having a valid Indiana operator. You understand? The, you have the, to have a driver's license to operate a vehicle in the state of Indiana. Right, but I'm not operating this vehicle. I'm You're traveling. Vehicle. I'm traveling. You I have a right call to travel. Whatever you want. State now, now if you says you're operating now, a vehicle. Now, if you guys are going to force me to do business with you if you guys want to force me to show you my uh would you say quote unquote driver's license are you stupid or something dude this is a traffic stop and uh in indiana you've definitely got to show your driver's license you really have no choice it's the law I mean, if you just show your driver's license, you could get this over with fairly quickly and be on with your day. I mean, that's all you gotta do. But no, you just gotta be that dumbass softard who's gonna drag it out until it reaches its inevitable conclusion of you being pulled out of your car, getting a broken window, or getting a shit ton of tickets. But either way, it doesn't end very well for you idiots and yet you keep on doing it and the paperwork for this car that belongs to a trust if you go to enforcement do that then under duress i'll do that if you got a driver's license i would suggest you to produce it right now dude and it won't get towed well i mean that's what i'm that's what i'm telling you but what i'm saying is it, it i'm this is under duress and force so i'm going to do that under duress and I'm so you're going to show all your stuff under duress so which tells me you already had all your stuff which basically means you're not a true softard and the other part is well under duress yeah now that you've been caught in your uh BS, yeah, it's gonna be under duress. They called your bluff and you folded like a like a bad hand. I'm gonna show you my uh uh registration. You got your Indiana I'm gonna show license. you my Indiana driver's license, I'm gonna show you all those good things okay. right there okay. under threats threatened arrest. I if, mean if you if you got an Indiana driver's license, dude, we won't tow your car. Okay. That's why I'm saying that's what's good for you to produce that. And I understand whether you want to show it under duress or not. You're just, you understand where we're coming yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. You're I, I required understand. by the state of Indiana to have right, a license. Right, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not subject to those statutes, but I mean, I just, I, I fully. Did you just say statutes? Uh, yeah, I guess he did, but the fact that he says he is not subject to the statutes, that's how you say statutes, that means that you think you're above the law. Well, dude, nobody around here is above the law, especially you, smartass. You're saying, okay. But I, I did want you to know that I was invoking my right to travel, but since that is being violated and under duress, I will submit those uh, that ID to you and the other required documents. Okay, Mr. That's All right. Best thing you did right now, okay? That's Let cool. me go back and give you, Matt, and then we get at least stop the tow truck from coming to throw in your car. All okay? right. Yep. Sit tight a minute. <laughs> and well, there you go, folks. This guy folded faster than a paper tiger. In fact, this guy was an overall paper softard to begin with. He did, probably doesn't believe in what he was spouting off. He was probably just giving it a shot and see where it would take him. But uh, fortunately, it didn't get him anywhere. He still has to do like everybody else around here and submit that paperwork and get that stuff out of the way so you can be about your day. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.